Okay, okay, so we know what a face, a edge, and a vertex is. Uh, what we're going to do now is look at what we can do with some of these things to modify them. I'm going to select this on the keyboard and hit delete to get rid of it. This is all recap. I'm going to get a new primitive, a box, put it on there. I'm going to start typing in 50, tab 50, tab 50 to get a nice big box. Enter to activate. This is just all recap. And what I'm going to do is take you to the menu up here, which is called the Modify menu. And we're going to look at these two things here to start with, which is Fillet and Chamfer. This is, can give you some really nice little results. So I'll start with Fillet. And you see the shortcut key there is E. Um, and a Fillet is going to allow you to round off edges. So to start with, I'm going to select an edge. There's that edge there. And you can see that it's um, yellow. That It's got that yellow arrow there. I can select more than one edge when I select that tool. So I'll go to this edge here like that and that gets both edges. And I can simply drag the arrow and it's going to fillet that edge and it's a lovely rounded fillet like that. Or I can type in an amount. So I'll make that say 20 and go enter. Alright, let's do that once more time just so that you can see how that works. Up to the modify menu to fill it, select the edges you would like to fill it. There's two of them, and I'm just going to type in 20, just like I did there before, and you get this nice rounded sort of cube like that. So that is fillets, nice rounded edges. What's a chamfer? Okay, back up to our modify menu, menu, and I'll click on chamfer, and I will select an edge. There's the edge there, and a chamfer. I can again use the um, arrow. A chamfer is a beveled sort of edge like that and again you can either use the arrow to give you what you would like or you can type in the distance in there press enter and it's done so this is the two things there fillet and chamfer and they're both found here in the modify menu and you can do some really nice shapes with that